Hello everyone and once again I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel. Friends, our today's topic is very much interesting. If you are a non-college going student, a college going student or a graduate looking for research papers, friends, then this video is going to be very much useful for you. So today I am going to introduce you to one of the amazing platform that is none other than SAGPT. Friends, here you can generate, right? So 100% human written essay. So if you are a non-college -co going student like junior or high school student, then this is going to be a wonder for all of you, right? If you are a college going student, then this writer, right? The particular things is going to help you in the search, right? Even uh, in finding out the amazing papers which you are searching. And friends, even right, so many uh, AI tool detector will be also detecting your essays, your, uh, you know, the research thing, everything as 100% human written, right? So each and everything I am going to discuss you in detail. The first thing which you need to do is click on the link, which is in YouTube video description, right? Okay. Now, so friends, first thing I am going to discuss is regarding the non college going student right that means if you are right so if you are a junior and high school student right then writing essay will become very much easy after you complete this video right so ai essay mode and various type of essays such as basic descriptive narrative and more i am going to discuss so just click on generator right so there you can see describe your topic i mean on which topic you want a human written essay, right? 100% human written essay. So uh, you can see, write me an essay about the impact of, right? Impact of AI on the world, right? Okay. And then friends, you can select essay type. So you want descriptive, you want narrative, you want write comparative, right? So you have multiple options. Number of words, you want 100 to 200, 200 to 500, 500 to 800, right? Okay that you can select. So I have selected here 500 to 800. Then language. So you want English, right? So there are multiple languages are there. So, uh, you know, even in Hindi, Marathi, local languages are also there, right? So a lot of languages are there. I'm selecting right now Hindi, okay? And then undetectable mode, please take it. Sir, what exactly is this? So here, if you read this undetectable mode, right? Creates essay that won't be detected as AI generated, right? Because most of the student, you will be thinking, sir, if I'm using this essay GPT, right? And if I get a essay, then there are a lot of AI tools are there. They will tell that this is AI generated. So that's the reason the top AI tools like GPT-0, originality.ai, right? Then turn it in, zero GPT, right? Winston AI, writer, cross plaque, right? So there are copy lakes. So there are a lot of AI tools are there and they will also say now it's 100% human written, right? Okay, perfect. Then after that, what you have to do, you have to click on one click generation. So once you click on one click generation, right? So it will take some time, right? It will take some time, maybe a few minutes. And then you will be able to see the output content seems to be human written, right? Okay, not only this. So I will be using a lot of tools. And with the tools, I will be telling you, your text is human written, right? So don't worry about it, right? So your output content seems to be human written. And this is your output, right? So, uh, you know, that output will be generated, right? And this is your output. So whatever outputs is getting generated, what you have to do? So you have to copy. And once you copy this, then the next thing is we have a lot of tools. And there we are going to verify. So this is Winston.ai and now friends, you have to copy the text, right? Which is generated and then click on scan text, right? So that we will do in multiple, uh, you know, tools. So here we had Winston and then originality.ai. Uh, so just please uh, copy paste your content, right? And then click on scan again, right? And then you can go to GPT, right? So GPT also what you can do. So you can copy paste the content and then you can click on run scan. Then you go to, uh, you know, uh, next is copy leaks. So just put your content and then click on scan, right? And then 
or you can also use zero GPT. So put your copy paste your content and then click on detect text and then uh, we have right. So we have new tools, right? So here this is uh, right. So content scale dot AI and then check for AI content, right? So, uh, you know, I have copied at many places, right? And then we will have to see the output. So here we are getting a uh, Winston has detected a text as 98% human. Our scan was unable to detect material use of AI text generation tools, right? Okay. And then if you go to the next one, right? So here you can see likely original GPT zero what it is telling. So it is telling human return, right? And then uh, the next tool copy leaks is telling human text is 100% AI content is 0%. Then uh, the next tool is zero GPT. Zero GPT is telling your text is human return. Zero percent AI GPT is detected, right? And then uh, the, your content scale dot AI is telling that passes as human, right? So you might have seen, okay? So the content which we had generated was 100% human, right? Okay. So friend, this is going to be amazing for non-college going student that is junior and high school student, right? Okay. The next is friend. Sir, what about right the college going student or the graduates? So friends here you just go to dashboard, right? And then you could see writer. So writer is mainly aimed at college student, graduate student and used for writing papers. So what you can do, you can type it here. How you will type? So you have to put two forward slashes, right? To write and edit a paper with AI. You can also select a certain piece of content for rewriting. It focuses on highlighting the research function and can be directly quoted into the article. You can put directly into the article like you see here. So ask AI anything. So here I will write. Uh, so write a description. So write a description uh, about transformer architecture, right? Architecture. So that's the reason I thought of transformer. So, you know, I will show you that what all and how you are going to use this uh, all those things, right? So you can see here and after that also you can continue writing. You can shorter it. You can longer it. So you have a lot of options, right? So you will be getting the complete details, right? So still you can, you know, continue writing. If you are done, then you can click on done, right? So, uh, you know, you can select it and then again you can ask AI. So a lot of summarize, grammar check, translate, explain right so these are the options so you can get a summary as well right so friends if you are doing any kind of you know research right so i know if you are doing any kind of research then this particular tool is going to help you a lot as i said so it focuses on highlighting the research function and can be directly you will be directly coding into the articles right okay and then friends uh, the next is a scholar chat so definitely sir what is this scholar chat or how this will be useful for us, right? So friends, uh, a scholar chat, right? So uh, it is an AI academic chat function that searches for relevant and credible papers, right? And I would like to tell you friends, right? So it will be searching uh, from 200 millions plus academic resources. So the database is having 200 plus millions, uh, you know, plus academic resources and can answer any academic question raised by user and provide accurate citation sources, right? So friends, uh, I would like to tell you there are many, okay, uh, other essay tools also are there, which we saw earlier, like essay writer and essay extender and essay checker. Now friends, after the essay writer, where you are able to get, right, the complete content about the transformer architecture. Now let us move towards research and scholar chat. So what is research? So friends, you can see here search 200 millions plus paper. So friends, basically, so when you want, right, to refer some kind of research paper, then you can refer here. So 200 millions plus papers are available and along with the content, you will be also getting the citation details. So let us see here. So, uh, you know, transformer just type transformer uh, architecture, right? Okay. And then you can see, so you will be getting the all the details here. And now from here, what you can do, so uh, you can copy the copy paste the content and you can add, basically you can edit your essay and you can add that here, right? And after that, you can also put the citation details here, right? So you can see again, if you want to put some more, right? So what you can do, so again, you can go to more, you can copy it, right? And after that, again, you can put the 
cites and detail right so this is a wonderful uh, you know research element here where which will help you to get the actual you know data from the research paper which is available in their database so 200 plus 200 million plus a research paper basically uh, is available and from there the data will be searched right okay and next is friends a uh, scholar chat so what is a scholar chat so i will just show you here so ask a question and get science based answers backed by 200 million plus paper right so here basically uh, you know you will be able to ask a question and you will be getting all the details all the answers for your question right so uh, you know so what is transformer architecture right so this is what i am typing here okay and let's see so what are the answers we are able to get from here okay so you'll have to wait for just few seconds right and then you will be getting the complete details right so the transformer architecture is a foundation model right so key insight on transform architecture so along with all the details right so for a warm up page right so you can also spawn uh, stop responding if you feel that and friends all this right so you will be able to copy you will be able to download in microsoft word you will be able to download in pdf format you will be also able to uh, share it right so all this information uh, you know uh, that you can be able to get it from a scholar chat and again if you want to add the content right so in your essay writing so what you can do you can copy paste and you will be able to add it right so friend this is scholar chat and uh, this uh, you know research is uh, you know it's a very important uh, as part of essay gpt right so it will make your life very much easier okay and friends all the cites and details right so whatever we have added here so that you can change the format right and uh, you know like APA 7 MLA ATC so you will be also able to change the format of the your citation so friends this was all about uh, SAGPT and I hope you like the amazing features which SAGPT is providing so this is uh, you know the, it will be appear like as human 100% uh, human written okay so even AI tools will not be able to detect all those things whichever is discussed here all the very very best the link is in description click right now and utilize the amazing features of SAGPT. Thank you.